Hi, this is Dr. Grande. I hope you find this video useful. If that's the case, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Hello, Aspen. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. I had met you last time for our first session, and we talked a little bit about and your circumstances, what brought you here. And I was hoping today we could get into trying to really figure out uh, how we can help you. Uh, any thoughts on your, your current situation? Anything change? Nothing's really changed. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm amazing at my job. My boss just really is, the, is someone that I hold you know, in higher regards mm -hmm. than others I work with, especially um, we went to we, we went to the same college as Ivy League College, of course, and um, he suggested I come into counseling, and he's he's way off, way off. So I'm just gonna, you know, let him know. So, as I understand it, you came into counseling because he requested it. That was what initiated it. So but now you, it's, I need to prove him wrong. All right, so at first it was because he told you it would be a good idea, but now you kind of see it as an opportunity to, to prove your point. Yeah, have a little bit of fun with it, prove my point. Mm -hmm. what, would you, what would you like to prove through this? That I'm not the one in the wrong, you know. I, I'm extremely good at my job. I mean, I am the best employee that they have ever had, not just currently. Just, I mean, just ever, I make no errors. So how can I be wrong when it comes to these circumstances with my coworkers? Right, so your, your coworkers have made some criticisms about you and that led to your boss suggesting this. I, I wouldn't call them criticisms because it's really hard to criticize me. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say they take it personally that I'm better than them, you know? So I feel that it's important for me to be able to work for this particular company. It needs to be the best company. And so I need the other employees to at least be at my level. Well, I mean, that's, that's really hard for them to come to my level, but at least be above average, at least. All right, so you have, a, you have an expectation of them to become at least close to you in, in terms of your skill? I mean, it's pretty hard to not make any errors when it comes to accounting. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the numbers, with the, the amount of numbers and, and the volume of accounts that, that we have, it's, it's hard to be as good as I am with it um, and as far as no errors. But yes, I, you know, I expect you know, a higher standard from the coworkers. And you don't feel like they're performing at that level now? No, not at all. And evidently you made uh, some different comments to them, which maybe they took the wrong way. Is that what you're I thinking? I just pointed out the facts of the situation. Mm -hmm. what, type mean, of, what type of facts did you? Well, when they make mistakes and, you know, how, how they should be better at certain tasks. I mean, I mean, they didn't attend the same, you know, type of college as far as, you know, you know Ivy League as myself. Um, however, they do have a college education, so, you know, that alone would, you know, just kind of go to speak to, to them having some sort of ability in that area. So, so you've kind of, in a way, you've expressed your disappointment with them? Yes. To them? Yes. Yeah. And what are some of the uh, observations or comments they made regarding you? Oh, they told me my, my ego's too big. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, the, that, that I'm cocky, that's one. Um, yeah, that, that I'm just, uh, that I'm just overall like, I don't know, I don't know how you can be too confident when your ability is that at that level. I mean, 
I am the best employee they've ever had, ever, you know. I was the best student at, at my college. I received numerous awards from, you know, the president of the college alone. Mm -hmm. I received numerous calls from the college and other companies as well trying to recruit me to work for them, you know. So I don't think there's, it's impossible to be overly confident, but they, you know, they consider it cocky and arrogant, they get arrogant a lot. The, the, the comment, arrogant. Mm -hmm. So you feel they're just really, are they misunderstanding you? I think they take it as a personal attack. Okay. Like I'm con like I'm that concerned with them personally. Like, it aff like I'm talking about them as a person instead of just their performance at work. Because I'm really not concerned with them as far as like existence outside the realm of performance at work. All right, so your commentary to them has nothing to do with their value as a person, more as with their performance as an employee. Right. And you feel they're misconstruing your, your observations about their performance. Very much so. Yeah, they're taking it personally. Taking it personally and, and try to, trying as best they can to push it back on me as I'm the one in the wrong, but I'm obviously not. All right, so you're, you're not wrong in this, and you're frustrated by their reactions. I mean, I'm okay with it, you know? I mean, it's, I don't really take anything they say to heart, because they're not at the level to really be able to criticize me. You know, I can take criticism, you know, from constructive criticism from someone who would you know, be at my level or above. Mm -hmm. um, however, they are not, so it's really not, it, it really doesn't affect me. It, it does interfere with my job as far as my employer is concerned. Right, uh, that's what led to you, that's what led to him recommending you come in here initially. Yes. Right. So, you don't feel that they're at a level where they can really criticize you, it doesn't really bother you if they have criticism in the first place. But you can appreciate how getting along with them would be better for you as an employee. I, I mean, I, I mean, overall, I like this company. Mm -hmm. You know, I like working for it. I I've been friends with my boss. For I mean, we went to the same college. You know, um, so we have that in common. You know, he is an extraordinary person as far as his abilities. You know, I would say as in the level realm as myself. So, you know, I hold his, you know, opinion, you know, in, in some sort of regards above the others. So. Okay, so to the, to the extent that they communicate negative sentiment to him about you, that, that affects you? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so, so what do you think, if anything, what, what do you think needs to be fixed here? Well, I think it's on their area, on, you know, on their side. If they didn't take what I said the wrong way. Okay, so if, if they had accurately in, interpreted your your comments, that would fix the problem? Yes. Do you think that's realistic? If they worked at it, possibly. Mm -hmm. How long have you worked there? It's been about 15 years. 15 years? Mm -hmm. And how long has this been something that you've been aware of, They're, them not feeling so great about your comments to them? Well, Every now and then, this this is we've hit a peak here recently because a lot of the people that I work with feel that uh, here recently more so they've been taken in the wrong way, um, more prevalent than in the past. In the past, they would you know I'd hear you know certain comments, but I understood you know comments just directed at me, and I just understood that you know it was just you know envious because I was able to give them. I was at a level where I was able to critique their work. Um, so it, wasn't, it never got to a point where I had someone like my boss say anything to me. So this is really the first time um, that it's gotten to that point. 
Uh, so you've noticed things like this in the past, mm -hmm. but now it's become more urgent to address it. It's become more urgent to prove that I'm not wrong in this fact, that it is, you know, if this were the case, then, you know, it would have been, you know, it would have been continuous, not just all of a sudden come to a head. So, I mean, that just proves my point even more, that it is their issue and not mine. All right, so if you could, if you could uh, somehow prove that they're in the wrong, would that help you? I mean, it's kind of, uh, to me, it's obvious they are in the wrong because the, the numbers speak for themselves. It's the fact of the matter. Um, so if, but I guess that if there was something that could change between the relationships that I have with them, then at least would be a little bit better of a flow. So maybe we could get up to the level, you know, that this company is de deserving of. Okay, so, so there's like, there's like two, there's two things operating. There's your desire for them to improve and make the company better. And then their discontent with, with uh, your comments to them. So you'd like the company to improve and you feel that means that you need to be able to voice your opinion to them in, a, in an honest way. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody needs to get along too and that's at least to some extent and that's not happening because they're upset. Right. So is there, do you think there's any steps you could take that could reduce the tension in those relationships? I need to figure out a way to present the information at a level that they would understand, so drop it down to their level, but also kind of sugarcoat it so they're not, you know, taking it the wrong way. All right, so you need to, to deliver the same message in a more polite, less threatening package. I mean, you could say that, yeah. Do you have any ideas how that might look? Um. I mean, I could start with not comparing their work to mine, because that's just unfair. I mean, at no point in time are they ever going to reach that, that level of, of quality mm -hmm. with their work. So that could be a place to start. Okay, so just, just refraining from, from drawing that comparison, that could help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think there could be a benefit in just, in just taking a break from offering any uh, comments to them? Any observations, just to let things cool down a bit. I'm. Not, I could see where you would say, you know, refer to as cool down. Yeah, yeah. You know, just in an effort to, to, restore the peace. Uh, you could still, of course, uh, be aware of different shortcomings in their performance. It might just be helpful to, to not share that for a while. Just as an idea. Does that seem like an idea that might work? Yeah, just keep to myself a little bit more. I mean, that's not that's not very hard around around them. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you would be okay with the with doing that because you wouldn't really be able to offer those those helpful comments like about performance? I mean, if, well, really, it would, in fact, prove my, my point behind it all. Mm -hmm. It would prove that I was right, that it's not me, that it is them taking it the wrong way. You know, 
Because, in, in fact, if, if it was, you know, if it wasn't them taking it the wrong way, then I would just say that that would, you know, it would continue as far as trying to, to point out I mean, really, I think it comes down to an issue of, of being jealous and seeing themselves as less than. Mm -hmm. So needing to bring, to try to bring me down to make themselves feel better. So if they don't have that to do that, it would prove my point behind this whole thing. Yes, yeah, so you feel like they're just trying to, they're just trying to tear you down to make up for their own inadequacy. Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah. And by you just not um, kind of offering those observations, you're you're taking you're taking the wind out of their sails. Right, and then it's not it's only a matter of time before someone else notices it without me pointing it out to them. Right, so your kind of commitment to quality will still be honored because somebody else will will see that. Oh yeah, there's no way that that could go unnoticed. Yeah, so that'll that'll take care of kind of both sides of this. Your concerns about quality would still be addressed, and you might be able to um, get more peace in that work environment. Mm -hmm. And I would prove that I was right all along. And, and proving your, your point. Yeah, which you mentioned was one of your reasons for for being okay with coming into counseling. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when do you go back to work next? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think this is a strategy that you can try out right away? Oh yeah, yeah. I can handle it for sure. Yeah. Um, so I will see you again in about a week, if that's okay, and maybe we can reevaluate and see how that worked. Yeah, I can tell you how I was proved to be right. That yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. You could you could uh, tell me what happened and. I certainly hope for a good outcome in that, and if we need to make any adjustments from that point, we can talk about it then. So give that a, give that a try. All right. That sounds good. All right. Well, thanks for coming in, Aspen. I will see you in a week. Sounds good. Thank you.